Thank you very much for talking to us. Um, take us through the case that you are you're challenging the continuation of uh, ban on the violations. Well, as you know, the Zimbabwean government has suspended the constitution. It has suspended those obligations uh, on it to hold by-elections. Section 158, subsection 3 of our constitution is very clear. It says that by-elections must be held within three months uh, of uh, the occurrence of a, vac of a vacancy. We have had so many uh, uh, vacancies now as a result of natural attrition, as a result of uh, the unlawful tsunami unleashed by ZANU-PF through uh, Douglas uh, Monzora. So we've got over 40 members of parliament vacancies. We've over 50 uh, councillors, countrywide uh, local authorities that need to be filled. Uh, ZANU-PF is, 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 is refusing uh, to conduct those by-elections. So citizens, about seven of them, uh, institutional bodies, uh, WAOPE, uh, and the election resource center brought a court application in October uh, last year compelling uh, the uh, Zimbabwe Election Commission uh, and the country's president to proclaim uh, by-elections. This application was heard in the morning today before Justice Musitu. Uh, it was furiously argued. Uh, we're very hopeful that the, the court will uh, uphold the constitution and hold that uh, no executive can suspend uh, the constitution. We're a country that normatively is guarded by constitutionalism, uh, the rule of law, and legality. So we want to impose a culture of constitutional accountability, uh, constitutional uh, morality, and constitutional compliance, and we hope that uh, uh, the court will agree with us. In Maine, what do you see the court to do? To direct that by-elections must be held within the time provided for in the constitution, uh, which is 90 days from the date of its order. That, in a summary, is a nutshell. But it's an application that is bigger than just by elections. It's an application that seeks to assert the authority of the constitution over every individual uh, in Zimbabwe, over every body in Zimbabwe. Uh, the constitution in Zimbabwe is under attack, uh, left, right, and center. Only last week we were battling in court to remove a chief justice who ought to have stood down at, at, at 70. Today it's another matter. Uh, so, so Zimbabwe has essentially become an unconstitutional republic led by a rogue president known as Emerson Damuzum Nangag. Give us, what's the government's response? Oh, they're, they're trying to hide under COVID. They're saying, ah, no, we couldn't do by-elections because of COVID. But of course, we demonstrated that, look, they've opened up everything, including schools, bars, restaurants, uh, churches, supermarkets, industries. So there can't be a selective application of, of, of the law. Uh, there can be a reason. There's no lawful reason why they're just suppressing uh, by-elections. In any event, every other country in the region has held uh, elections. South Africa held local elections last year. They will have further local elections this year. We've had a, a national election in Uganda, a national election in Ghana, an election, a national election in Cote d'Ivoire, a national election in, in Botswana, an election, a national election uh, uh, in, in, in Tanzania. These are all countries within uh, the African continent. Uh, abroad, we've had elections in, in, in France, we've had elections in the Czech Republic, we've had elections in Australia, we've had a big election in the United States of America on the 5th of November 2020. So this thing is just an excuse by an undemocratic government that is not interested in democracy. What's, what's the fear of uh, the, 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 the variant that was um, discovered or, or as a predominant in India, in your view, to elections? Look, when we say world elections, the elections must be held under strict WHO protocols. So there must be social distancing, there must be masks, there must be sanitization. And also you could, you could introduce what Americans used, postal voting, mechanism that avoid people going into a polling station. In Zimbabwe, polling stations have a maximum of a thousand. So you could even reduce, increase the number of polling stations, you know, increase the number of polling stations. So whether there's an Indian variant or not, it is still possible to hold elections in a country. Thank you so very much. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter.
at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.